Hello, and welcome to How to Break Up with Someone. I'm your host, David Rosenfeld. Breaking up with someone can be very hard on your mental health. Excuse me. Statistically, three people are broken up with every second. That means, just now, 15 people have their hearts broken. You, dear viewer, could be next. Your sweetheart could be dialing the phone as we speak. Hey, Eve. Do you, um, do you have a second to talk right now? Yeah, what's up, babe? I've just been, um, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. Okay, what about? Damn it, Eve. Why must you make this so hard? Why must you make everything so difficult? I don't understand. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't think I can do this anymore, me and you. I, 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 it's too much, and it doesn't feel right for me. And, and I, quite frankly, I, I, I want out. I want out. You're breaking up with me over the phone? It's not you. It's actually not about you. Not everything is about you. It's actually about me for once. Okay, so just so we're clear, you are breaking up with me. Yes. Yes, I am. And this is exactly why I wanted to do this over the phone. Freeze. Relationships, am I right? Who needs them? Well, apparently, we do. Even me, David Rosenfeld. I am extremely available. When initiating a breakup, make sure you do it in person, Lisa. Be clear, but kind. And set realistic expectations for your future. We were going to build a chalet together on a hilltop near Prague. Anyways, the language we use here really matters. Hi. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good. Do you have a second to talk right now? Yeah. What's up? I've just, um, I've had a lot of things on my mind lately about us and our relationship. And I just, you know I care about you so much. You know, you're so beautiful and kind and beautiful but this this just doesn't feel right something feels so wrong and like it's missing and again I care about you and I want to be there for you but not together freeze now that's how it's done honest and respectable the messiness of a breakup is unavoidable but the way one initiates the separation makes all the difference. Now, the question you should be asking yourself, how to go on? The answer, after this. Worried your friend's struggling but don't know how to reach out? You could say how are you or get a fake tattoo. You could ask with an app if it works for you. You could write him a text or knit him a sweater. If you can't be together, you could write him a letter. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Chat on the game, kick off your flip flops. You can ask on your couch while you binge watch. However, you do it, you gotta ask a friend. And if they don't share, you can ask again. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. There are a lot of ways to reach out to a friend about their mental health. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. Welcome back. Now, it's never easy, but you move on. Healing happens with a lot of time, self-care, and help from friends. After being dumped, block your ex on all social media. Now remember, you aren't dumped because you're unlovable. I am lovable. So when you're ready, get back out in the ring. Your next sweetheart is out there waiting for you. 